in this video we will see like what is max cap violation so like what is max cap max cap it, you can see by its name only maximum capacit capacitance and violation violations violations or <laughs> violation only. maximum capacity if any pin port object or instance or anything which is driving something has any value up to some suppose x is the value which it can drive but if it's but the if x is the value which it can drive but there is something more than x x plus n which has been fed through the device as a load so it can't drive the extra n so this is called max cap violation means if it is not able to oh, drive this load x plus l because it has been uh, made for the driving of only x so this is called max cap violation so like suppose this example consider this example suppose this is a buffer this is the output load of the buffer suppose there are another three buffers so for driving this one two three buffers for a single buffer the buffer should means for activating this three thing the buffer should drive all these three things so what would be the capacitance for this output pin which what would be capacitance that this pin will see it will be like net capacitance this one plus the input pin capacitance so net capacitance plus pin capacitance should be less than the value which has been specified for this buffer then it would be, then it would be easily drive this all three otherwise there will be max cap violation so like why the capacitance occurs like consider a net this is a net at point a at point b so like for driving the power from this point to this point all the electrons in this must be energized consider a water pipeline so for flowing water from this side to this side the pressure should be enough that the water should be gone to other side if the pressure is low then it will be like this somewhat somewhat like this below side below of the half edge if the pressure is high it will only pack the pipe and go at the other side similar case considering in the electronic wire that there should be enough pressure enough voltage enough drive strength at the starting point so that it can drive the uh, power at the output side of b if it is not able to drive the enough power it would be not able to drive the point b and hence the buffers buffers or any instances at the output of this start point would not get enough power so that their transition would be proper so for this so for that purpose for proper transition of signal max cap shouldn't be violated and it should be followed so like if it can't follow the max cap violation there are two ways one split the load like this buffer drive the three buffers split the load in such a way there is one buffer here which will drive this buffer so that now this buffer and also this buffer will be close to this one so like it can be like this also so this buffer has been close to this one and that's why less need and need to be drive, driven by this buffer and also now this buffer is able to drive this two or else if the specification is not proper we can also add buffer at this point or else you can add extra buffers at this point so that it can forward drive properly this can drive this this can drive this one if the net is too long otherwise make a um, make such variation that the net should be small and the buffer would be near to this and also one thing like the metal layer should be routed in higher layer because in higher layer the resistance of the metal layer is low why the resistance of the metal layer is low if you see the like resistor for rho l by a 
rho L by A. So at the higher layer, the metal width is more than the lower layer. So here the area is more. So as the area is more, resistance will be less. So at the higher area, resistance will be less. So try to route these violations. So, sorry, sorry. Try to route these signals in the higher layer to reduce max cap. But this is the third third option. First thing is addition of buffer and splitting load. That would be okay.